Hello guys, and welcome to the Artemis Watch Usage Guide, where we'll show you how to maximize your experience with your DIY space watch. To get started, simply click on the back button and your display will light up. As you can see, the current time and date are displayed at the center of the screen. Don't worry if the wrong time and date are displayed. We'll show you how to adjust them in the settings later. In the upper left corner, you'll spot the battery icon, indicating the current charge level. If the bar runs out, it's time to recharge your batteries before you can continue using your device. While the watch is charging, the LED will light up, as shown here. If the LED lights up green, it means that the battery is fully charged. Now, let's begin by pairing the Artemis watch with our smartphone. If you have an iPhone, go to its Bluetooth settings, enable Bluetooth, Select the Artemis watch from the list of available devices and click Pair as shown here. You will also need to allow the notifications to be shown on your Artemis watch. If you have an Android, you need to download the app from the link provided in the caption. Allow the app's request to ensure a successful connection with the Artemis watch. Enable unsupported devices, start scanning and the Artemis watch should appear. Press and hold on Artemis watch, select bangle.js and click OK. Tap on the Artemis watch to initiate the connection. You may receive a pop-up message and if you do, click pair. Amazing! Now you'll be able to receive notifications like text messages, emails or social media alerts on your Artemis watch. To access these notifications, simply press the down button while on the starting screen. As you can see, pressing the select button on a notification allows you to erase it. If you receive a call, you will also be able to see it here. To enter the main menu on your watch, hold the select button until the lock icon swipes all the way to the right side of the screen, as shown here. Inside the main menu, you'll be able to access different apps and features that are available on the Artemis watch. Use the up and down buttons to navigate through the main menu. Once you find the app you want to access, click on the select button. Let's start with the Lunar Lander, an amazing game where you'll need to land a probe on the planet's surface. You can rotate the probe using the up and down buttons and activate the engines by pressing the select button. If you ever need to pause or exit the game, simply click on the back button. Try it out and see how many points you can score before crashing the probe. Next up, we have the Level app, which uses a built-in gyroscope to show you the current orientation of your Artemis watch. This can be useful when balancing different objects. Next up, we have the Theremin app, where you can play a musical instrument by simply tilting your watch. A Theremin is a musical instrument that is controlled without physical contact by the performer. In this case, you are not pressing any buttons, but simply moving your hand through the air in order to produce a melody. This one can be a lot of fun! This next step is used to check if your Artemis watch is currently paired with a smartphone. If it is, you will get the message indicating that it's paired, and if it's not, you will get the message indicating that it hasn't been paired yet. Next up, we have an app called Rover Control. You can use this app to pair the Artemis watch with your rover, and control it by simply tilting your watch. Push and hold the select button on your Artemis watch while pressing the pair button on your rover at the same time. Signal acquired. All systems ready. Great! Now that you've successfully paired them, try tilting your watch forward to move the rover forward as well. Tilt it the other way, the rover will go in reverse. And if you tilt it to the side, the rover will turn in that direction. As you can see, you can control the rover by simply tilting your Artemis watch. Now, take a look at the display on your Artemis watch. If your rover has a camera, you will also be able to see the feed from that camera on your watch. You can control the rover and monitor where it's going without a controller. Having both the rover and the Artemis watch will allow you to use both of them to their full potential. Lastly, we have the settings screen. 
Inside it, you will see many different options, so let's go through all of them. You will be able to toggle the 24 hour time format. Next, you have the option to choose between 9 incredible themes. This way, you can really customize your device to fit your style. Let's take a sneak peek. Here you can also change the date format and adjust the current time and date. Below you will have the option to toggle the sound and adjust the screen brightness as shown here. There is also an option to toggle the LED. Here you can select a sleep timer. This timer determines how long your device can remain idle before automatically turning off. The tilt to wake option will allow you to turn on the display by simply tilting your watch while it's in sleep mode. And finally, you will be able to turn on the left hand mode, which flips the display upside down, allowing you to wear the watch on the other hand. Your Artemis watch can be used in so many different ways. Make sure to take it with you wherever you go and use it to its full potential.